I'll place you right over here. Haha, <laughs> how do you like that? Ooh, baby! Oh, now we're brewing all right. What are you supposed to be, dog? Oh, it actually worked. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, oh, oh no, 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 no. Hey, hey. Hey, Falcon. <laughs> You're being too dangerous now, my friend. Oh, it gave me two of them. What is going on, everybody? Welcome to Alchemy Garden. I'm your host, the Birdman. Notice Falcon. So this right here is a game I first caught wind of a couple of months back. I played it. And back then it was mostly just a way for you to kind of like mix a couple of seed bags together, create different type of seeds, grow them out in your garden, and that was basically it. However, the title was indeed Alchemy Garden, so I thought somewhere down the line, assuming the developer got enough support on the project itself, um, it would probably hopefully evolve into like one of those, you know, simulator games where you basically um, grow your own plants, turn those plants into potions, and then you have like your own little like alchemy shop or something, very much along the lines of a My Little Blacksmith shop. Blacksmith Simulator, etc, etc. They're a dime a dozen these days, but they're actually fun little games. And this right here is now suddenly being developed into that as well. Let me get into the game because I haven't played this since I first played this like maybe a couple of months back. And when I first played, oh my god, this is a lot different than I first played it. When I first played it, it was like a, a bed bag here, which you need to rest on occasion. Um, and then there was a couple of seed bags over here and a recipe book, and you'd basically mix them out. You go out here into your garden and plant the, oh my god, you're a lot different as well. This wasn't around here back when I first played it, like, they didn't have, like, these little beds. It was basically just a bunch of grass, you would come in here, drop a seed, water it, and there you go. That's all that was in the game. But now, there's been enough development, so you can actually do stuff. Really cool. So let's find out what we got going on over here. You are gonna be a Lilium seed. If I had to wager a guess, this is kind of like a small little tutorial on how to, like, do this. So right now, if I was to mix you guys together, and then craft you, you give me something different. So we had a Lilium Seed, and now we have the... Ooh, what are you supposed to be? You got a little nice little Crescent Moon thing on you. You're the Lunar Lilium Seed. Okay, so we have added a property of nighttime for you. Does that mean anything for us? I got no idea, but I guess we'll find out. Let me go ahead and just plant you right over there. Okay, and with that done, as you can see over here, we got to water this bad boy. That's how, you know, plants work. You know, you plant a seed, you water it down, and occasionally you go out there and you talk to it too. Do you guys talk to... I don't know, if there's any, like, herbalists out there, is that really true? If you talk to a plant, it's supposed to, like, grow in better? Or is that just kind of, like, you know, hearsay? I imagine it's just hearsay, I mean, it doesn't make any sense to you talking to a plant and making it grow better. But I've heard that there's, like, you know, like, garden whisperers out there. They go out there, they have a little chat with the plant, whisper a couple of sweet nothings, and it just grows before your eyes very much like what's happening right now. Check this out. It's enjoying the sound of my voice, maybe. It's enjoying the sound of my rambling. And it's kind of like, yeah, you know what? Let's just grow instantly right now. Now, mind you, I'm not a herbalist myself. I'm not a plant expert whatsoever. Um, but I don't think that's how it works in real life. I don't think you plant a seed and you water it and it instantly grows under a minute to mature stage. You know, I think it takes a while, but hey, it's a video game. So obviously instantly growed. Perfect. So there you go, little buddy. You're very cool. You got a little nice, little nice glow to you. Little glittery spots all around. Now, can I do anything with you now? It's my big question. No. Okay. Oh, I can stand on you. I can stand on it too. Great. <laughs> I'm not even sure how strong we have made this plant, but I think we've created a monster. If I can stand on top of that plant and it doesn't crush, it could hold my weight. That's re who? Who was it? Okay. Wait a minute. Who ransacked my shop just now? I did not leave it this way, the this, this state of disarray right now. Who broke in here? Who dares break into the house that Falcon built? Who dares break into the alchemist shop? Well, technically it's not a shop just yet. But still, look at this, man. Okay, whatever. This is new right now. This is completely new to me. Like, at least I was kind of, like, formal with this in the past, but now this is completely new. What the hell are you supposed to be? You're probably gonna make the potions now, huh? Okay, so we got coal. We'll grab... Grab you. Everything just... Oh, that's probably how that happened. I probably bumped into something and just created a sort of, like, shockwave. Not really shockwave, but it's tidal wave of a bunch of destruction here. So we have a coal in there. And sulfur. Okay, we'll put some sulfur in there, too. Sulfur, you're not supposed to fall out. You're supposed to just land in there with your friend the coal man. Okay. And now we grab you. I'm gonna place you right over here. Haha, <laughs> how do you like that? Ooh, baby! Oh, now we're brewing all right. What are you supposed to be, dog? You're you're the flamicide. The flamicide? Okay, we have a new potion. Yeah. Can I now mix you with something? Okay, well I'm gonna give it a try. Um, let, let's get experimental here. How about we toss two catalysts in there and see what happens? Oh, Falcon, you're playing a dangerous game. Oh, I know. I love to play dangerous, baby. 
And here is food. As you can see, we have a hunger meter here. I believe when you're hungry, you stop working, so you gotta eat some food. Um, so... The first plant that we tried was a Lilium, correct? So what what are you supposed to be? You are a Lotus, okay. I don't know what a Lilium looks like, I'll be honest with you. I got no idea about plants. Are you a Rose? It's the, the most common plant that I know. Rose! Hey, it is a Rose! Hey, I got one right. And you're gonna be a Lily. Daisy. Oh, wh whatever, man. Doesn't matter. Where's Lilium at? Eh, whatever. I don't see a Lilium around. Not that I know. Not that I would be able to identify Lilium from afar. Let's just grab this rose, then. Cause I've been kissed on the rose, Mother Green. I I'll have an- I'll give you an idea right now, or I'll give you my honest opinion. Growing up, I loved that song. Cause, you know, I think it was like... It wasn't a Batman soundtrack that I had as a kid growing up. <laughs> A Batman movie soundtrack, and I used to love that song, but I had no idea what the hell it meant. And I'll be honest with you, this day I still have no idea what it what it means. He's been kissed on the rose by the green. Maybe I got the lyrics wrong. Maybe that's probably it, because that doesn't make any sense. I've been kissed on the rose by the green. I don't know, man. See, you're a crazy dude. Oh, it actually worked. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, oh, oh no, 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 no. Hey, 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 Falcon. <laughs> You're being too dangerous now, my friend. Oh, it gave me two of them. I'll be danged. It gave me two different seats, even though I just dropped one. Now, that's magic right there. Now, that's how you do it. Yeah, we have the the Ignis Road, and we have the, the Lunar Rose. How about that? Okay, let's go and plant these bad boys over here. Should we plant them separately? I feel like they should be separate, you know? They're, like, one of them's an Ignis, the other one's a... The other one just disappeared, apparently. No, it's still in there. You just can't see it right now, but it's definitely in there. Okay, I'm a mad scientist over here, just having <laughs> these seeds pop into the air. So, your friend's gonna be right here. Ah, you know what, whatever. Let's have you guys together. Alrighty, roses. Oh, God. What have I done? <laughs> no, no, I didn't want you to be that close. Like, I literally dropped you here. There was no reason for you to jump over at your friend. Okay, well, that's gonna be a problem. <laughs> that's gonna be a problem. What have I done now? I got no idea. Where's my watering can at, huh? There it is. You never moved. I'm the one who left you here behind. I'm sorry, buddy. Come with me. All right, let's let's do this here. Let's see what happens. Uh, I don't think that was supposed to work that way quite. But um, <laughs> they're both growing. Okay, hold on. Let's let's move back here. The field of vision can be a bit wonky, so I want to make sure we can see the growth period side by side here. Well, we have a Lunar and an Ignis growing side by side over here. I'm telling you, I, I'm, I'm a monster, man. I, I'm a mad scientist when it comes to growing plants, apparently. You don't want to mess with me. Come on, keep growing. You gotta keep growing, man, because you know what? This constant stream of the watering can is making me want to go to the restroom now. I really feel like my bladder's starting to yell at me right now, like, Falcon, what are you doing, man? You gotta go. All that coffee you've drank today? Yeah, it needs to be relieved, huh? Alright, so, note to self next time. Make sure they're far apart because obviously they'll levitate to one another. So now they're blending into each other, we can't really see the, the gorgeousness of it. Alrighty, so, I imagine that there's still a night time in the game. How it used to work before, it was like really dark at night so you couldn't see anything. Now where is an axe? Here we go. And we just want, want this axe because we need some firewood for you. Because it's going to get really dark at night. It's not really spooky or anything, but you know, I want you guys to be able to enjoy the game here, visually. Because YouTube likes to darken videos too much for me. There we go. <laughs> we had an issue there for a while. Hey, there you go, instantly. Okay. You drop there, you come with me. If you want to live, piece of wood. And now what we shall do is we'll just place you into the fireplace here. Come on. Get, 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 get in there. Get in. Look. Look, okay? You get in there, I said. Ahaha! Man has created fire. How amazing. Okay, so let's see. Little fireplace over here. Aha, you can see the smoke doing everything. Cool, I like that feature. Alrighty, so let's get some food in us here really quickly. It is, um, the sun is now down. I wonder if something happens with these plants when it's, like, you know, nighttime. Because some of them are apparently lunar ones. And the other ones can indeed be ignis ones. So, um, I wonder... I'm curious now. You know my curiosity, right? How about we, we try to make a potion with the, the ignis... The Ignis one this time. Because remember how last time we used the green one? So technically speaking, we'd have to do two two batches here. We'd have to do this, and then we'd have to use you. And it, okay, you're, you're going too far now. And then we craft it. And that'll give us the Ignis one, right? So what happens if we now blend with the Ignis one? You know what I'm saying? Is the game going to explode on me? What's oh, it's a possibility. 
It's a damn possibility. We saw what happened with that pot over there a while ago. So you, that. Okay, let's try it out. Scientist Experiment 101. Oh god, it does work. But you're the same thing. That's not how it's supposed to work. You're the same thing. You're the same thing. Ah. Well, oh, no way. The wood turns into cone. I mean, that would make sense. In the past, like, you would put wood in there, and it would just light up for eternity. So now you actually do need constant supply of wood. Good. That's progress in the game for sure. Where did I leave my axe at? It's out here. I mean, I want to light that up again because I want to see how nice it looks inside now that it's dark. Where's my... I see you out there, lilies. Or daisies, whatever you were. Let's collect you. What, no more or what? I'm sorry, Falcon. Really, this giant tree could only produce one little simple piece of log for you. Not too much, okay? Well, what do you think this is, huh? So, let's move you back in here. Let's put you in there. Cole, I'm gonna leave you in there too, how about that? Yeah! Alright! Cool. Now, let's see, we've got... The roses, let's go give another one a try here. So we know if we add two of the catalyst in there, it'll give us apparently two seeds because that's how the game rolls now. So let me pick up the lotus, and we'll give this a try with the lotus as well. Let's see if we can make like a daytime version and a nighttime version. And this time we'll try to separate them as well, so you know they're not all clustered in there together. So you, where have you gone? Can you, can you come along with me please? Can you stop falling behind? I mean, what am I... Controlling you with my mind or something? It's like Jedi mind tricks? No, no, dude. Use your hands, huh? How about you use your hands? You so lazy for that? Flamicide, you come over here too, buddy. I'll place you. No. A flamicide. There you go. And then... You as well. I don't think I didn't see you there hiding. The depth perception. How does it work? There you go. Check it out. Boom, 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 boom. What's gonna happen? Oh! <laughs> I love that. It never gets old. I guess, like, technically speaking, what it's doing, it's giving you the animation for both of the seeds at once, so it makes it look really, really spooky. Well, not really spooky, but it's just really weird. Because it looks like partially, like, lava or something, so I guess it's kind of giving you the Lunarium animation along with the... Fire. Look, you go down too fast, man. You go down way too fast now. You went from... <sighs> what the fuck just happened right now? <laughs> I, maybe I had too much coffee today. <laughs> I, I was off the ground for a while, right? We, we all saw that, correct? Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I shouldn't bat him out the fireplace. Bad things happen when you do that. Okay, I was gonna say... That fireplace went from... Um, being on forever... What, what? That doesn't even make any sense. Like, it doesn't make any sense, because I'm over here and I dropped you. There's no way you should go down and suddenly be like, Oh, you know what, I'm gonna jump off the flower bed. Or the, the soil bed. Okay, it doesn't work that way, game. You're just supposed to just fall. There you go. That's how it makes sense, okay? Anyway, uh, the fireplace went from burning forever in the old version to apparently just, like, you know, hanging out for, like, a couple of seconds now. Um, let's see. Where, where, what am I looking for? The watering can. Right, you. Can't live up to the hype anymore, huh? It's un very unfortunate. So, you are quite heated up. All right. So, you like lava lotus, huh? And you're gonna be... Nighttime Lotus, if I can find you. Nighttime Lotus, where are you? I need an idea where you're at, dude, so I could water you properly. Dude? Nighttime Lotus. There he is, okay. He was a little bit shy there for a bit. And technically speaking, when you think about it, why am I watering a fire plant? Wouldn't it kind of like, you know, do the opposite? Wouldn't you put the fire out and turn it into a nighttime plant? Maybe I'm thinking too much about this, you know? That could be it. It's like, it's a video game, Falcon. Just stop thinking about it too much. It's like, okay, you're right. So, uh, are we good here? I think we're good here. Okay, so we got a Nighttime Lotus. We got the Ignis Lotus. Then we have... You were, I think, Ignis... Illidium or something like that? And then we have both of you guys over here having plant sex. <laughs> That's what it looks like they're doing. They're just having plant sex over here. Uh, apparently, the... By the looks of it, I want to say that the, the, the Lunarium is the male, and the, the female is the uh, Ignis one. That's what it looks like to me, man. I don't know, you make heads or tails of that. Am I really kind of, um, you know, sexualizing plants right now? I kind of am, I guess. But technically speaking, they do reproduce, so, you know, it's just not the way that we do it. Us savages do it. 
Anyway, guys, there you guys have it. This is um, Alchemy Garden. This is the latest update, so if you haven't checked this out in a while, give it a look-see again. There's other plants out there, too, but, you know, I just want to give you guys a little bit of a hensight. But also keep your eye on it as well. I think this could easily develop into an amazing game. The addition of the potion making alone is actually pretty cool, but obviously it's got to be expanded more. As I mentioned, I think this could be an amazing, cool little um, alchemy shop simulator. Keep everything out here still in here and just have like a little side area where you sell potions. Have a couple of dudes wander in here and be like, Hey, what you doing? I'm looking for a potion because I need to fight a dragon. And you'll be like, yeah, I got you, buddy. I got you. I will catch you next time.